There are a lot of free contact form WordPress plugins around and one of the ones that I use is contact form 7. However, sometimes the form that you need is not quite as simple as just a straightforward contact form and what I tend to use is a commercial plugin called Formidable Pro. Now I'm going to show you how to install that and set it up and I'm going to basically replace the contact form on this website with a form created by Formidable Pro but then I'll also create a second form which shows you um, a little bit more about the power of Formidable Pro and why you might want to use it. Okay, so we're over on the plugins page, just click on add new. And I'm going to upload this because I've got the zip file on my hard drive. And this is the file, so let me just install it. Okay, I'm going to activate it. Okay, and we're going to go over to Formidable here. In fact, we're going over to the global settings where we need to enter our license key. And save license. Okay, now I'm going to go back to plugins because there's a couple of add-ons for this plugin that I need to also add and uh, one of them is to add a maths capture to the contact forms that basically will help reduce the number of spam comments or spam submissions through some type of bot and the second one is a plugin that allows me to take Aweber subscription details so basically I can have a, a contact form on not a contact form I can have a subscription form on my site and anybody who signs up for that subscription form will be added to my mailing list newsletter so that's it let's go back over to formidable and in fact it says here that I need to update the database there we go it's all done let me just delete this. We we'll start from scratch. Okay. Now I'm going to add a new one. First one I'm going to add is a contact form. And when you click on the add new, you get um, templates here that you can choose from. So for example, a contact form. Let's click on create and it will copy that template to a new form which we can edit. So let me just click on save or create, sorry. And now we have a contact form. It does need a little bit of editing. So the first thing I want to do is click on this emails tab. Now you can see over here that the email will be sent to admin email, which is whatever email address is set up in my settings here. But the from reply to, this is where the email is coming from. I want it, at the moment it's coming from my website and from my email address, but I want it to come from the name of the person who sent the contact form in and their email address. So I need to select name from name and email from email. And let's just update that. And you can see over here we've got a short code. And basically all we need to do is copy that and paste it into the page where we want the form to appear. And I want it to appear on my contact form. So let me just delete that. That's a contact form 7 plugin. Since I'm installing Formidable Pro there's no point having the contact form 7 plugin as well because the more plugins you have the slower it, it makes your WordPress run so I'm actually going to go and deactivate and delete contact form 7 okay now if I go back to the pages again and the contact form here I can then preview the changes. In fact, I've already got the contact form open. This is the old contact form. Let's refresh it to see what the one that's been built with Formidable Pro. And we've got name, email, website, subject message, and submit. We don't have the capture, which I thought was there, but let's go back and have a look. 
I know why we haven't got a capture. Down here, you'll see that you have to have you have to set up a public and private key for the capture. So it's easy enough to do. You just click on that link and scroll down, and you'll see two boxes: public key and private key. And to get those, you just need to click on that link, free capture, and you'll see it opens up a problem at the moment. This website. Let's have a look. See if I can go through it there. Uh, okay, let's go. And the website domain is okay. So if that link there is not working, you can just go to google.com forward slash recapture and then you enter in your website URL and click on create. If you want to, if you have lots of domains and you want to enable this on all domains, so you only have to remember one um, private and public key, you can click check that box, click on create. Okay, um, there seems to be a bug at the moment with this website, but anyway, after the second attempt, I've now got a CSV file which I hope will contain my public and private key. Okay, and it does. I can show you a little bit of the file that they sent me. It's the domain and then public key, private key. I can't actually show you those. So all I need to do is go back and copy public key and I'm going to paste them paste it in here and then copy the private key and paste it in here and you've got different capture themes I'm going to have white um, black glass no, in fact I'm going to have white for my theme because my theme is mainly white and then language English and update options and we should find now that the capture because we put those private and public key in there. When we refresh, we should now have the capture form. There we go. Down the bottom. So somebody has to fill that in in order to submit the form. Okay, so that's the contact form. Fairly simple. What I want to do is set up a custom form and this form is going to allow people to submit information to me. I want to run a competition basically. I'm going to run a competition and for people to enter the competition they need to fill in the form. So I'll show you what needs to be done on that form as we go. Um, let's go to forms and we're going to create a new form and this time we're going to start with blank form. I'm going to call this competition entry right now we start off here with a blank um, box that we can drag these fields into first thing I want is to have a name of the person and I want to make this a required field in other words people have to fill it in so to do that if you click on this box that surrounds the field you just entered then this box with a drop down appears and you click on the little arrow and then click on the required and you see the asterisk now has been put in place there are other options there but we're not going to go into them and the next field I'm going to put is in fact let me delete that the next field I'm going to put in here is an email address and again it's a required field and I'm going to just create the field now just to save it and we can go in and edit. The first thing I'm going to do is go into emails and once again I need this to be sent not from my website and from my email address um, because I may want to click reply and send an email back. I want this to come from the person who's filled in the form. So for the name I select name from the fields and that corresponds to the name field in the form and from the email I choose email address from fields and that corresponds to the email address in the form and we can just update that and let's go back to build because we haven't finished building the form yet now the next thing I want to do I want to basically the competition is going to be to win a copy of a piece of my software now to enter all they've got to do is leave a review on Amazon for my rapid WordPress website book 
and the only criteria there is that they have to own it. Now, it was given away for free for a few days, so, so pe pe people picked it up then. Some people have also bought it. Um, but I need proof that they actually did buy it. So the way I'm going to ask for proof is I'm going to ask for the first word beginning of um, a chapter. And because we want text entry, then we're going to put this as a single line of text. This is required. Single line of text. What is the first word in the chapter titled Using the What You See is What You Get Editor? Okay. And down here, you see, if you click on this back box, you get this little description here that you can add a description. Now the next thing I want is I want them to put in the URL where their uh, review is found. So I'm going to drag across a website URL box here. And again it's required. And then finally, I think finally, I have to have a think about this in a moment, single line of text again for Reviewer name. This is also a required field. Basically, required fields, if somebody fills in a form and there's a required field and they don't put information in that um, required field, then the form won't be submitted. It will tell them you've, you've got to um, correct the errors or something missing here. Let me just update and I'm going to create a new page win a free copy of Web Content Studio. I'm going to paste in the code and just above the code I want to add a little bit of information. Okay, the information has been filled in. Basically I've just said this competition is only open to people who own a copy of my Rapid WordPress website book. To prove you do own a copy I ask a question below where you need to look up a word in the book. Please fill out the form and submit it. I will be drawing all entries out of the hat and announce the winner on Monday the 21st of April 2014. Uh, and then the contact form and then underneath I've put note I reserve the right to offer more than one free copy of the software if I get a lot of reviews and the last thing I want to do is I want to just hyperlink the name of the book to Amazon now this is a a smart URL that basically should redirect the user to whichever Amazon they happen to be. If they're in Spain, they'll go to the Spanish Amazon. If they're in Italy, go to the Italian um, Amazon and so on. Let me just publish that and we'll view the page. Okay, win a free copy of Web Content Studio. This competition is only open to people who own a copy of my, and then let's click on that and that opens to Amazon. I'm in Amazon ES. 
let's just do one final quick check. Okay, I've got a problem here. That is the check to make sure the person owns the book. I haven't filled that in. Here we go, single checklist. Let's just update the form and check that again. Okay, name, email address, ownership check, and the URL reviewer name we've got single line text there again I've got to put in the title or is that a stray one that shouldn't be there let me have a look okay that looks like it's a stray one I don't need that just check name email address ownership so they to type in the first word of the chapter the URL and the reviewer name Okay, the only last thing I want to do is on this page, I want to make it no index, no archive. So basically, it doesn't get into Google. This competition is only open for well, less than a week, and I don't want this into Google. And then people contacting me later on down the line saying, well, I want to enter this competition. Let's try filling it in. Um... Click on Submit, and it says here, your responses were successfully submitted. That message there is editable as well in the settings. Here we go. Okay, and the only thing I can do now is show you what happens when they submit the form. I'll head on over to my email software and show you that. Okay, and this is the email I received from that submission. Um, it's got the from, which is my email address. So if I click the reply, then this will be the person I'm replying to. The subject was already pre-filled. And you can see here we've got ownership check. This is the word. For, well, it's not actually the word, but it's the word that... Um, I'm asking for to prove they own it, the URL where the review is found and their reviewer name. Okay, so that's this uh, plugin called Formidable Pro and it's great if you need to do custom forms.